Today's topic is a continuation of the last one I call part two of identifying bottoms. And uh, in this uh, video, I'm going to give you plenty of illustrations to show you uh, where the bottoms are. The best time to determine the low point is uh, right now, uh, the current recession, because it's so severe. So nearly all companies come down to their lowest uh, records. And during this time, we see record lows, we see a lot of bank bankruptcies, and we also see a lot of uh, recoveries, which will be very good for us uh, to buy. Uh, during the recession, especially this one, we can also identify the strong companies and also the weak companies. Now, before we start, we have to find out a day of months. Uh, what is this day? This day means the day when the stock market began to turn around. And the day is Tuesday, March the 10th, this year, 2009. And when we look at this, I want to uh, uh, give you this date and also the previous day to show you that the market has indeed turned around. And I also pick a later date to show you what has happened. Just look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average on March the 9th, it was at a record low, 6547. You look at the NASDAQ, also record low, S&P 500. And if you compare with the next day, March the 10th, there is a significant jump. And this is the day of significance where the market turns around. Why it turns around? Because when you look at a later date, two months from the March 10th date, you see all these indexes have come back up and they have never looked back. Uh, during this recession, we have seen death of many companies. And after death, we also see that all these companies are reduced to penny stocks. So let me uh, pick a, a few dates also. September 07, the high point. March the 9th, the low point. Uh, all the stocks have uh, come down to their lowest points uh, in early March. And then a later date, June the 1st. Let's take a look at the first company, GM. Uh, I'm going to give you three here, General Motors, Lehman Brothers, and Ford Motors. So during uh, the September 07 high, you look at these high prices, except Ford. Ford was very weak two years ago. And now, in March, all these companies had an encounter with death. They dropped down to so low. Lehman Brothers at that time is already dead, so it's really become a penny stock. But these two companies, GM and Ford, they are reduced to $1. And when we come to a later date, GM is dead as of uh, June the 1st. So it's a penny stock now. But you look at Ford, it has rebounded to over $6. Now the question is, do you think Ford can survive and will survive? I think so. Next, we come to, to the strong high flyers. I want to show you some of the high flyers of uh, the recession. The same, I picked the dates, which are the same as just now. And uh, here are some of the high flyers. McDonald's, Walmart, Apple Computers, IBM, Coca-Cola, Amazon.com. And you look at the September 07 high, quite high. And of course, they are affected by the recession. March 09, early, they have come down, except the first two, which is McDonald's and Walmart. 
อันนี้รู้กับน้ำ McDonald and Walmart stays about the same, but all the rest have recovered quite a bit, and they are flying still very high. Now we have to look at the financial sector first, because the financial sector is the one that caused this worldwide recession, and the financial sector should be the one that should rebound first before we see a real recovery for the whole economy. The stocks that I picked are Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan, Chase, Wells Fargo Bank, Bank of America, Citigroup, AIG, and GE. GE is not a real um, financial company, but it has a real big financial arm called GE Finance, and uh, the financial arm of GE has also come under severe. Pressure. Uh, let's look at the September high. All these uh, financial stocks were flying in September 2007, but by early March, all of them have come down to record levels, record lows. And uh, two of them, AIG and Citigroup, had a brush with death. They were worries that these two companies may not survive. Now, they have uh, recovered quite a bit. You look at these uh, numbers. Next, I want to talk about the material sector. This sector is important because in any recovery, the material sector sh should lead the recovery because uh, when the economy turns around, uh, the economy needs a lot of material to make things. Here are the companies that I picked. Alcoa, uh, producing aluminum products, international paper, paper products, Nucor, steel, ExxonMobil, petroleum products, general tire and rubber, rubber products. Their high point, 2007, in September, and their low points, some of them fell down to single digit levels. But now they seem to have recovered quite a bit, as you can see. Next we come to the electronic sector. This sector is very sensitive to uh, economic up and downs, but when you look at the, the current recession, uh, it hasn't affected these companies as much as the other industries. So let's take a look. Microsoft, Intel, Hewlett Packard, Oracle, Dell Computers, Motorola, and Google. We look at their high prices two years ago. Now in March this year, early March, all of them come down to their lowest. But if you compare, they haven't come down that low as compared with the other industries. And when you look at their recovery, they have recovered quite a bit ever since the March lows. So why they have recovered so much and why they haven't come down that much? Well, for the electronics industry, what makes them going is their innovation. If they can innovate, chances are they can be immune from the economic downturn. And what are the innovations going on right now? Well, everybody understands the internet, internet commerce, cell phones, wireless technologies, and many other things. The last sectors I want to talk about is the drugs and the healthcare sector. Uh, the companies I picked are Merck, Pfizer, Glaxo, Smith and Klein, United Healthcare. This is their highs two years ago 
and this is their loss. Now, people seem to think that uh, the recession doesn't affect the healthcare industry. Well, you look at the current recession, it does. It does affect the healthcare industry quite a bit. And one thing that is significant is that you look at their recovery. Their recovery is very small compared with the other industries. They are now undertaking a big healthcare reform in the US. So what is the result of a healthcare reform? Healthcare prices will be cut down. Drug prices will be cut down.